everyone. Happy New Year 2023. We hope that you are all well. We are in Zone 7B, Virginia, and protecting our young fig trees by covering with cloth and plastic. Protect the roots of your young fig trees with mulch. Fig trees have shallow roots and can die if not protected in the winter. It can get down to about six degrees here since we've lived here. Um, this winter started off with a bang. It got really cold really fast. And I, I don't usually cover the older, more established the fig trees, but since I have a lot of young fig trees, I thought I'd cover them. So the way I did it, this is um, the white Madeira. So I took some cuttings from it, then I covered it with some felt, wrapped it around, and then put a, this, this is just a regular weight garbage bag. I think it's a one mil, 15 gallon garbage bag. So that's how I started out doing them. Um, but I found out that I needed something heavier because we are expecting another dip into the cold weather. So this is, this is Desert King. Desert King is a San Pedro fig, which means in the spring, it should put out some Breba figs and it's one of the earliest uh, Brebas, but I won't get a main crop. So I did take cuttings from it and um, wrapped it. I uh, just wrapped this one today actually with some um, frost cloth because I ran out of felt. And um, this is two mil um, contractor bag. So this will offer a little more protection. The tree I'm covering now, which hadn't gotten covered before the last freeze, is Italian honey. I didn't get around to covering some of my young trees before the last frost. And I thought that most of the buds would have been ruined by now because it got so cold. It was, I think it was 11 degrees at night for about a week. We had uh, very cold nighttime temperatures. But these actually are looking alive to me still. And we had, then we had warm weather, which confuses these trees. It's 65, even up to 75 for about eight days in a row here at the end of December and early January. So they want to start growing again. So it's a little bit late, but I think I can still cover them. And I haven't gotten figs from this tree. This was a two year old tree. Last year it died back all the way to the ground. The rabbits also found it and they were eating the bark. I had a rabbit back here the whole winter eating the bark of my little trees. I think he finally hopped out. I opened the gate for him in the spring and I saw him somewhere else in the yard. Hopefully that was him. Um, so I'm gonna try to cover this one now. I already had it covered, surrounded with wire to keep the rabbit away. And of course, you need to tag your trees. Well, I can't reach it that well, but I do have a tag there, Italian honey. I find that the, when I try to label with ink on plastic, a lot of times the ink wears off and then I don't know. Sometimes I forget what I'm growing. So I'm going to do this one. I've already mulched it a little bit with some, those are actually ground up fig branches that I won't be saving for cuttings for some reason or another. I only try to save the best cutting to sell. I have an Etsy account, Sea Flowers by Terry. I also sell on eBay at times, at auction. Kind of down to scraps right now. So to protect the tips though, I did want to give it a little extra protection. So I wrapped it with some of the frost cloth and next I'll, I have an old sheet that I'm going to cover it with. Okay, so I got the tree covered with the sheet and I just kind of secured it with a string here. And then I'm going to cover it with the plastic, the contractor bag. Well, here's another tree done. Um, I wrapped some rope that I could find around it and I didn't wrap it too tight, but just enough, you know, so it's gonna stay on all winter when the wind blows. Um, and we'll take a look at it in the spring and see how it's doing. Like the rest of them, I have quite a few here that I've covered. We hope that this video has been helpful. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel, The Lost Cat Fig Farm.